Oh, Cavani's driven it in for Manchester United. It's 1-0, a good volley. And the man of the moment right now has put himself in the headlines again for Manchester United. 3-0 on aggregate and surely that's them through to the semi-finals of the Europa League again. Smith Rowe, he's dribbled his way around the box into Nicolas Pepe! He puts it in! And they have the lead again! Hopefully for them this one will be chalked off and it's 1-0 again to Arsenal. Arsenal have a penalty and it's all going downhill for Slavia Prague. They're capitulating. they got more problems right now than a GCSE maths exam. Will he continue his goal streak? He does! He slots it bottom right. Arsenal 2-0 up. 3-1 on aggregate and surely that is Mikel Arteta's ass and job saved. That's great play into Saka. Saka cuts inside, edge of the box. Finesse up, bottom right corner, near post. Arsenal 3-0 up, 4-1 on aggregate. Sensational scene from the Gunners. 25 minutes in, and they've secured this semi-final in Europe. Into Lacazette. Lacazette shifts onto his left foot, it's in. Arsenal have a fourth to rub a little bit of so in the wounds. It's 5-1 now. They were already through at our time, but at this point, it's just extra confetti in the cannon. An extra load for Arteta to blow. Down the left to Tellez. Looks for the ball, looks for the cross. In, oh, it's an own goal. Man United have a 2-0, my prediction's right. Get in there, I suppose. Hey, big brain. I mean, you shouldn't really celebrate the United goal, but 2-0, my prediction's right. They're already through, man. Let it go, let it go. Right, there you go. We have our... Europa League semi-finalists all decided. Manchester United get past Granada 2-0. You have Roma and Ajax who draw one all, despite Ajax having a dominant game, really. Roma shit hating it again. Uh, scratch it. And then we have Arsenal absolutely slap Slavia Prague up to make the Europa League semi-final in style and give Arteta another day in a job in management in world football. Via Real, who beat Dinamo Zagreb. That was another prediction I got correct. There were two matches I got absolutely spot on. First of all, we're going to talk about the Manchester United and Granada game, in which I thought the Manchester United were absolutely exceptional in the first half. Paul Pogba was excellent in that game for me. It's in the first half, obviously he got brought off at time. Edison Cavadi had a very very strong game in my opinion Antoine Zavi was probably man of the match for them if Pogba was on the pitch and stayed on the pitch for the entire 90 I probably would have given Paul Pogba the man of the match award to be honest he was excellent with the ball in the first half he was carrying it making the key passes driving Manchester United forwards giving them the attacking outlet he was the man that they looked to buy when they brought him back into the club he's becoming that that secondary figure that very strong figure who steps up in games for Manchester United credit to United in the second half he was a bit more bored to be honest with you there wasn't really anything to discuss or talk about Granada come forward United kind of settled for it had a few decent counter attacks Ahmad Diallo had a chance before he was fouled as well running in through on goal it was a good Van der Beek cross as well which Greenwood headed straight to the keeper so it could have been more goals for Manchester United on the end of things but they'll be happy with that they'll be fine with that as soon as they scored the third goal everyone knew they were through anyway and they could just sit back and do what they want play possession football like they have for most of the games comfortable night for Manchester United all things considered Cavani Great finish. Again, Paul Pogba at the heart of it. Assisted it. Knocked it down for Cavani. Shinned it a little bit with a volley. But it was a good finish. Nonetheless, it was a bit like the um, Taremi goal against Chelsea with the overhead kick. It was a bit shinned. But ultimately, it's a great finish. Arsenal and Slavia Prague game. Absolutely exceptional performance from the Gunners. They secured semi-final football within half an hour of this game. Absolutely outstanding. Bukayo Saka, definitely the man of the match for me. He was everything in that first half for Arsenal. Nicola Pepe had a good game. Emil Smith-Rowe finished his second to Bukayo Saka to me. Emil Smithrow had an absolutely immense game. Lacazette got two. Great performance for him to, to keep the confidence going after that brace at Sheffield as well. All things considered, Arsenal might feel really confident about this now. If you want my final prediction, is in like who's going to get to the final, which two teams are going to get to the final. You have Manchester United versus Roma and then you have Arsenal versus Villarreal in a return against Unai Emery. Unai Emery 2, Electric Boogaloo. In my opinion, I do think there's going to be Manchester United versus versus Arsenal in the final. Of course, there could be an upset on the cards, but that's just the joys of European football. Manchester United have this semi-final voodoo at the moment, so they might not even make it. Who knows? You never know. You never know in football. It's one of those. Basically, everyone who were the favourites into these games went through. Standard Europa League set of quarterfinals. Yeah, fair play to everyone involved. Thanks for watching the video. If you have, I will be back tomorrow, as I always am basically daily, with some sort of football video. So I'll catch you in a bit. Have a good night. ta -ra.